guys, so I already know my background and my room is a disaster. I just got back from the old Goodwill and um, God, the anxiety is broken. Ugh. Okay, so I know it looks like I just like <clears throat> brushed my teeth with a bag of hot Cheetos all over my lipstick. I got, I went to the mall, well I work at the mall, but I went to the mall in Sephora the other day and they gave me a free sample for my birthday. It was like a Marc Jacobs eyeliner and lipstick and I'm like, I hate fucking using high end shit because I'm always scared that it's going to like break me out or I'm going to have a rash or something like that. So I just tried on the lipstick and I don't even really like it. I just wanted to try it on and I wiped most of it off and now I feel like I'm going to like, I feel itchy because I just hate my life. Um, this is going to be a complete different realm of videos that I normally do and I don't know if I'm going to stick with doing this type of videos because it's not really my forte. I like watching them. Don't know if I could really do it because I'm just sitting on my phone. I don't have like a computer. I don't even have Wi-Fi um, to be able to like react to certain videos. I can definitely give opinions, um, which is something that I, I just think it's so entertaining. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't go to like, I don't, I'm not bashing anybody. And whenever I watch these videos, it's like literally watching a reality show. I think it's funny. And I found these channels from the Amarlin Reed, from her channel. I could not tell you how I found her channel to begin with. They It randomly popped up. Look, okay, I'm weird. I watch, like, my, my 600 pound life. I watch, like, obesity documentaries. I'm just very enthralled with diet and fat people and weight gain because I myself don't like my body. Terrified of gaining weight. Um, stuff like that. So, I don't know. It's just, I don't think that's that weird. I think a lot of people are like that. But I literally just watched My 600 Pound Life. So, I think one of her videos came up. And I'd never even heard of, like, Mook, Mook Bong. I don't know where that came to be. Um, but I would rather watch somebody else eat than me eat it. So, whatever. It definitely, like, curbs your appetite. But it was the video that she did eating, like, Flamin' Hot Cheetos or something like that. And I just gradually started watching her channel. And not even to be in a mean way, but like, and this is like, honestly, I think a lot of a lot of people just started watching her because she's big. That's why I started watching her. And I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. Like, it really wasn't that terrible. The videos weren't that bad. And I, for the most part with my YouTube videos, I turn on a YouTube video, put it on my speaker, and just clean the house while it's going on. I don't like sit there and like hardcore watch it, but... You know, I, and I'm the type of person, I watch the same video over and over and over. Um, my dad did that a lot with movies. We would, like, I will watch the same thing over and over and over. Like, my mom would get so fucking annoyed, but I don't know what, I feel like that's a disorder in some way, I read. But I don't know. Um, and then through that, if you guys even watch her channel, you know, all the gossip channels, and like, all the, the sexual assault that she, you know, denied, and now, I fucking, I can't stand it, because, bitch, you know the only reason people go to her channel is to read the comments, and she always fucking disables the comments, like, fuck. She always, like, if she bitches about, if she thinks she, she's, like, making them not, oh, oh, if she just, like, enabled her comments again, she would get so many more subscribers and shit, like, she's an idiot, if she, if she really just was, like, I don't know if she really is a troll or not, but she might as well just come on and, like, do all these fucking videos, like, she would make so much more money, if that's all she's in in it for, fuck it, like, what, I don't know, <clears throat> but I found Stay Negative from Amberlynn's channel, because the first video I ever saw of his was whenever he reviewed her eating Chinese food, which was fucking hilarious, and I've watched it so many times, I don't know what it was, I show other people, and they're like, this is not funny, bitch, I thought it was so funny, um, because it's true, it's just like, he just says what everybody else is thinking for the most part, and then I, you know, I watched all of his videos, negative reactions I like so much more, um, you know, I'm not into vlogging much anyway, because I would, I would definitely not vlog, because that'd be fucking horrible. But, um, I watch these videos all the time, like, I love them, and I feel like such a weirdo, because I very, very rarely comment on videos at all. But I commented on his, and he replied, and I'm just like, oh my god, like, I, yeah, I know, I'm fucking weird. Um, and then from his video, now I don't know, everybody's like super obsessed with Peter Mon, and I watched... I kept seeing his videos pop up on my page, but whenever you first see him, you don't think that he's going to be, like, the super flamboyant gay guy, you know, you think he's going to be some redneck. So whenever I first looked on his video and heard his voice, I'm like, fuck yes, because I love the fucking gays, like, those are my people. So, like, he starts talking, and I'm like, okay, this is cool, but then he just gets super repetitive, and it's like, okay, we get it, like, you know, we get the act, like, you're gay, and that's awesome, that's cool, but I just don't really watch it that much anymore. And then I found, her name is Mrs. Fucking Wonderful, and she reminds me of me so fucking much, she cracks me up. Because she's just, like, loud and, like, smoking, and I don't know. She's only 29, but the way she smokes, I don't know, there's something, like, comforting. Is that weird? It reminds me of my mom. 
not the smoking part, kind of, but I don't know why she just, like, she's funny as fuck. And when she talks about, like, shy curves and Amberlynn Reed and fucking all this shit, it's hilarious. I love, this isn't, like, this is just me telling you guys how much I love these fucking channels for the most part. And they're, they have so many more subscribers than me, but I don't know. If you guys, like, let me know. Do you guys watch these channels? Do you guys, like, know this YouTube fucking drama that's, I feel like, it, I can't believe I'm making a video on it because it's so, like, it's so stupid. But fuck, we all need something to do, you know, to take our minds off of it. And that's why I watch this shit. Like, I watch this shit to take my mind off of my stress and my boring ass life and my stressful ass life and worry about, you know, bills and I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. I just want to watch this shit. And whatever he even said, when I commented on his videos, I was like, oh, this is relaxing. And he's like, I don't know why it's relaxing. It, it's not, like, soothing, like, mm, I'm going to say. It's like, I like listening to certain people's voices and what they say and cleaning my house while I do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's relaxing to me. And I think, because I've been really struggling on what videos to do, just because I've been kind of, like, really, like, wishy-washy in my life. Like, really just focusing on my job, and that takes so much fucking energy out of me. But I honestly love, I mean, I might start doing it because it cracks me up. And plus, it's what I watch. Like, why wouldn't I talk about, like, what I watch on YouTube? Um, I don't really watch Emily Reed's channel much anymore just because it's embarrassing as fuck. Like, she's embarrassing. She embarrasses me. Um, you know, her, her, you know, Lego and girl. Like, I don't know. It, that, it's just been beaten to death with the, the, you know, the way that she acts. But it's just so fucking cringy. And she definitely reminds me of this girl that I grew up with. She used to be her best friend. And she was super overweight. And she used to lie just about all this stupid shit. Like, I don't think she was ever actually abused. But her older brothers would fuck with her a lot. Like, older brothers do. And maybe she just felt neglected because there was kind of a lot of kids in her family. I don't know. But she would just, like, eat, eat, meat, And she would just make up these random stories. Like, I couldn't even tell you. Just, like, she would tell me, like, boys snuck into her house all the time. And I, shit that I knew was a lie. Like, just random stuff. And I'm just like, what's up? And, like, that's literally who she reminds me of. Um, um, I love when they call Destiny Dustin, it fucking cracks me up. He's just, a uh, hop along Holly, uh, cause he just needs some more Star Wars Pez dispensers. I don't know. I don't really even mind, uh, that thing. But I'm gonna go, um, I just, I don't know, I always feel bad, like, I feel like I'm putting, like, negative shit out on the internet, and I'm like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just, like, I'm just talking about, look, they're, they have way more, they're doing much more with their life than me, clearly, but I just wanted to give... Not a shout out, but just be like, hi, I watch you guys. I'm, I'm such a creep. I'm making a pot of coffee at 10 o'clock at night because I have no life. Uh, I'm going to go. Once again, thank you.